and greetings everybody and welcome back to another episode of rebuilding the commonwealth here we are again at uh, lovely super duper mart we are getting there we have our blinds up i've put in some decorations i've made the waiting room a little bit nicer got some nice posters for you to look at while you're waiting some propaganda a bit of m uh, minuteman personality some persuasion to come and join us uh, that was there originally that was just a nice Minuteman sticker uh, I've put in some lights these nice emergency lights ceiling fan for the guard station this looks good um, the table with a little bell on it so you can ping for attention uh, I need to put in some OC dispenser stuff in here but that could wait uh, the rooms now have some bright lights included, a lamp, so a lamp, a nice ceiling light, looks a bit more homely, looks like you could properly sleep here, that's what I like. Um, I've cleaned out this room here, I'm going to turn this into a storeroom, now I'm not actually going to patch the ceiling because this is just a utility space. Uh, I have added that as well that was a bit of a pain in the ass to place manually but I did it now for here I think we're gonna put a bunker shutter that's one thing I did here I actually put these bunker shutters over the windows so they they look like we're really locking this place down which is exactly what we're doing uh, so under snappy builds I found that here in bunker you can get bunker window and then you can get the shutters which cover it so you got the vertical ones and you've got the horizontal ones now for this I'm going to use the horizontal one uh, I'm feeling I'm gonna have to make this quite big <laughs> Shit. Okay. I didn't anticipate this would be quite so difficult to place. Okay, you know what? Fuck that. <laughs> That's really not a very good uh, piece there. So what we're going to do instead is put some Venetian blinds over it. We can get the wide Venetian blinds, which are over here in interiors uh, they're quite far along I think yes they are here they are so we can put in a nice Venetian blind instead I mean in a way that kind of looks like a shutter so Yeah, I mean, you can't see out of it. Looks good. Let me just pull that back a bit. So, yeah, so it looks even on both sides. Brilliant. And now we get to kit this room out. Uh, coffins, unfortunately. That'll be a very bad thing to put in here. Now, we do have some uh, markers for the... Salmon markers. Though I don't think it's under that. <laughs> Funnily enough. It's under here. So we need to give some people a job. Kids' beds. Hmm. So we can maybe have someone taking inventory over here in this corner. Which will be quite good. Yep, that's pretty good for that. So we're going to go to furniture and we have Do It Your Shelf. Quite a funny name, but hey. 
Now if we go under pre-war, we should have these nice vault metal kind of shelves which we can use. They look pretty good. They snap as well, which is a bonus. fit another one there. I think that gets in the way of the door if we do that so we won't do that. Now a lot of these are going to be used uh, in the other room in the armory down the hallway. Now the clutter uh, we want I think we've got boxes or something like that. Yes, yeah, so we've got some DIY boxes we can put on these. Yep, these kinds of clutter look good. I think some tools uh, and stuff will sort of accentuate this a little bit. Some nice materials. Excellent. Uh, we can leave this one kind of empty. I mean, I suppose we can put like some crates of drink on it. I mean, they've got to have some kind of food storage so that'll look pretty good can leave the shelves at the top there empty excuse me excellent let's put one of the utility lights in here as well just to give it a little bit of power I think I was using the emergency light as well. Where is the emergency light? The emergency lights are really powerful, which is kind of surprising. Must be under Homemaker. So even I have trouble finding where some of this stuff is. Yeah, there you go. I think this could do with a little bit more decoration, but I'm going to leave it as is for now. But that's our little warehouse. And I mean, if you really wanted to, you could slide this up and serve supplies out of it if required. Or if you've got like a, a warehouse manager. Oh, nice cup of tea. Now I'm thinking I should repurpose these um, cashier spots um, for like workbenches for jobs. So I think it's under decoration, miscellaneous, that we have these activity mats. There's a lot of stuff I've got here. Damn. Man, flagpoles. Uh, okay, no, it's not under that. No, it's under resources. Of course it is. I remember now, yeah. It's been a while since I've done this. I do apologise. So, I think it's under W for workbench. Yes, a workbench armour... Workbench weapons. Now, I don't know how well people are going to do with this.
So I don't know whether they might phase through the floor when they're doing this or what kind of results I'm going to get, but it, it's worth trying. But I think this would be a good little work area for my settlers. Or for the Minutemen who reside here. Damn, it's a good thing I brought all these extra materials. <laughs> cool. I need to lace these out with tools to uh, accentuate it a little bit. This is going to be a recreational space. Um, this is going to be a recreation space. And I think I'm going to turn this into a bedroom. Like a, a proper workman's kind of barracks. Which will be nice if I can just put blinds over there. So once more before I start making changes. We'll quick save. Talk about gutting the place. Excellent. So let's put in some really nice furniture. I think under Homemaker we have some uh, uh, corner units that I could use. Yes, under couches we have the modular units. Let's use the nice, fresh sofa, like that. Do we have a nice corner piece that we could use? Yep, so we have a fresh corner unit. Got plenty of cloth, plenty of wood, that's good. And that's the dirty version, so we won't use that. So very nice couch to uh, to go and rest on. Uh, that is the torn one. That is that's the good quality piece. Excellent. <laughs> now, does that not look really nice? Well, maybe. Maybe not, but uh, it's going to get there. So we'll put up a little coffee table. Those are too big. So we've got this little coffee table. People can go and uh, enjoy themselves here. Stereo. So we can set that up. Good. Shelves. Um, all these display cases are properly broken and such, so I'm kind of hesitant to use them. I haven't seen these ammo boxes before. How weird. Never mind. Um, yes, this is going to need a nice little light. What about the miscellaneous? No, that's not under there. Decorations. Ah, ceiling fans. Uh, I think these are the broken ones, though, so I 
not too keen to use that. I'll put a nice little clock over here so you can tell what time it is while you relax in comfort. Quick save. Yep, so now you can see it. A grill. <laughs> bulletin board. That'd be good for the, uh, the old communal area. Uh, coat rack. Yeah, I think these get knocked over easily. They don't have rigid physics, so we'll keep them to one side. Um, I want to get. Where's the. I want to get a Nuka Cola machine as well, because that's just. Why wouldn't you? A water dispenser, that's a good, uh, good little addition. Nice place to relax. What could go wrong? A thermostat. Yeah, why not? Control how nice and warm it is here. And we can put up the Venetian blinds to cover the windows here into the barracks. So... That should do it. Ah, see? The coat rack falls over. <laughs> So that's probably not a good thing to use. Okay, Venetian blinds. That should do it. So they're both down. You can't see into the recreation area. I think these are wonky. Mm -hmm. Does that work? Yes, that works. That looks much better. Cool. Okay, um, another quick save. Let's see if we can get rid of this chair. Yep, and the cash register. Yep. Oh, a stim pack I must have missed. Right. Good. 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 Excellent. Okay, we can get rid of these fixtures. That's what we like. Good. Um, I completely forgot about these ones, though. Some Medex, Mentats, good stuff. Brilliant. isn't going to be so threatening when we're done here. 
Oh shit, what did I just do? Okay, good, I think I just got rid of some fog. Good, and they don't cause any glitches. That's what we like. That's what we love to see. Okay, so this ceiling does need replacing because it is going to be for human habitation. Yep, the pharmacy was out here. The uh, supermarket's pharmacy. Still some trash on the floor to get rid of. Good stuff. Now, I don't entirely know what this counter in the middle was supposed to be for. In terms of a pharmacy. But we're going to get rid of it all. cause any graphical glitches no that's good that's what we like to see no graphical glitches whatsoever okay so the fuck Did that seriously count? That is clamped. There's nowhere fucking near it. Oh well, never mind. Oh great, I fucking forgot these as well. Little pegs. Okay, cool. So we go back to snappy builds. Go back to the interior design kits. It was warm deco. And it was the unbroken. Cool. swap the ceiling out in here as well. Whoa! What the fuck happened to the floor? Shit, the floor and the ceiling must have been one and the same. Um, okay. Well, that was no fun. Okay, crisis averted. We have a floor in here. That was uh, a bit tragic. Okay, so the pharmacy is clear. We are ready to uh, enhance it, should we say. Right. Now, I don't like the flooring in here at all, so we're going to swap out the floor. Like we did in the restaurant back there, we're going to use some nice wood flooring. Is there any that's nice and smooth, or have they all got a bit of wood? Yeah. 
Okay, none of them are really that smooth, so... Yeah, because that snapped onto the other floor section. Cool. No graphical glitches, nothing like that. Okay, so it's got a blood stain in it. Not really anything we can do about that. I think that's kind of built in. Which is not ideal, but hey ho. The walls look a bit awful, but we're going to have to live with that. Right, furniture. I was thinking of the Minutemen cots, but they're a bit too small for my liking. Let's just go with standard beds. Yeah, this is going to be a, quite a heavy workman's barracks kind of room. So we've got four people to live in the back here. This is going to be like a shower room. Like a bathroom. This is a bedroom and living space. Graphical glitches happen so less frequently in here, minus towards the door. But yeah, it doesn't seem to happen that much anymore. Told you we'd fix it. Near enough, anyway. Brilliant. Okay, so we have our barracks room. Let's put some lights in here and try to cover up these awful gaps in the walls. Ugh. Yeah, so if we're gonna go graffiti -de -de. Uh Wall signs for factions. Yep, so we're gonna put some nice patriotic flags because these guys love the Minutemen. Always will. And we're going to put some lights in here. Now I don't know whether the wiring I've put in will reach here. But there's only one way to find out. So wall lights. The emergency lights I can put up. Okay, the power does not reach. Which is fair enough. We need to lengthen the wiring, so let's do that now before I forget. Power conduit, strong wireless. So yeah, we're putting the wiring across the inside here. Excellent. That's going to light the place up nicely. Almost blindingly. Holy shit. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Uh, and I think one central light over this side should cover. Right outside this door. Should be able to put a light in here. Good. Take out that old faulty bulb. Excellent. Look at that.
I really like this. I'm really liking the direction this is going. We need some more lights on the uh, the pod space, though. So let's put some lights in here. I'm starting to run low on copper, so I can't afford to do too many of these. some just regular bolts in here I think but these look smarter and another industrial light to go here there we go that keeps the pod nice and light got the green light for a bit of variety on this side. I'm sure it is still quite glitchy but hey ho, not much I can do about that. Right, so Okay, so the light doesn't, the power doesn't quite reach that far, so we need another connector. Strong wireless. Place that over here. Oh fuck, I completely forgot about this room. That was the fog. Good. Now this can have conventional lights because it's a recreation room. Not too fond of the ceiling though, so we'll get some more snappy builds in here. The interior building. Deco warm floors. Unbroken. Brilliant. If this is going to be a communal area, it needs to be in good shape. That looks amazing. Good. So now we can go back to the power. Power. I think we're close to getting people moving into this place. That's the dream. Oh, fuck. I'm out of copper. Shit. I thought I had one more piece. Uh, is there anything around here I can scrap for one more piece of copper? That's inconvenient. I've practically scrapped everything in here. Unless I configure the lights a slightly different way. No, it's going to need more light than that. Shit, well that's annoying. But we can live with it for now. We've got light where it matters the most. The rest of it's just uh, technicalities. Okay, so I think we're almost ready to get people moved in. 
just looking for the proper supermarket shelves. I say we want to keep up a slightly retail aesthetic here. Cool, so it's gone from a restaurant into a nice little general store. A trading emporium. I think these counters over here give me quite a bit of space to play with as well, which is really handy. Not really sure what to do with this space over here though. Alright, I actually think we're ready to get people moved in question is, do I have enough to build the radio beacon? Of course I don't. I need copper and crystal, you fucking bastard. <laughs> I knew I would. Okay. Let's save. I'm going to go and get some copper and crystal and I'll be back in just a second. Fantastic. So I've got the materials. Bit of a problem, though. Now that I've uh, changed the ceiling... It rains indoors. It legitimately now rains indoors. I've never seen that happening. I think it is actually making the floor like soaked. Yeah, I think it's actually making all the furniture soaked as well. Uh, well I mean, I can't speak for everything, but uh, hey. Oh well, something we'll just have to deal with. So yeah, it now rains indoors. Happy days. <laughs> cool. So we have the materials. I've set up the lights. So we have a much more pleasant atmosphere in here. Still needs a couple of dark spots lit up, but we'll get there. This also needs to be converted and the communal bathrooms need to be changed, but I think we're ready to get settlers moving in. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's set up a radio beacon. Uh, let's lower that down just a little bit. Let's let's actually put up a full size one because uh, yeah. Actually, I don't even think there's space to put one in. Screw it. Let's put that in there. Okay, now it's a waiting game. We just have to wait for settlers to turn up. Don't know how long this is going to be, but I might as well pause while we wait. So I'll be back shortly and we'll see where we are. Peace out. Okay, so a bit of a problem. Uh, I decided to spawn in a couple of Minutemen Settlers just to see what happens. Unfortunately, they can't be assigned to the settlement, but they have remained here all day. They don't leave. So I could only really have a pseudo settlement. They use these uh, passive markers here, so I might be able to set up a few passive markers, but I can't actually assign them to anything. So for all intents and purposes, this is like a giant player home, which kind of sucks in some ways. <clears throat> if there was a way I could add them to the settlement list, I might be able to allocate them here. But for now, we can't do that. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Don't know what that was about. So I can continue building this, but I can't actually assign settlers or Minutemen anywhere. I say, it kind of sucks. It really does. But, uh... You okay there, my friend? <laughs> um, 
yeah so we basically have a giant player home i still really like it and i think it's a great construct and i'm going to continue building this even if i can't allocate anyone here but for now that is all that we can do so we're going to leave the super duper mart as it is we're going to be happy this has been repurposed and if I can find a mod that will allow me to allocate them to a custom settlement, I will do. But for now, this is where we leave off. So I apologise, this is a slightly shorter episode. But thank you very much for uh, joining me. It has been a great ride here. And I think we're going to be working on the castle next, hopefully. So until the next episode, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and peace out.